brisk and chilly to start your Friday, but the sun is shining and we are rolling well into the weekend. KDK First Alert Meteorologist Mary Hours is here with just how long we'll see the sunshine. And this is a perfect weekend to do the festivals and go to the pumpkin patch and all kinds of fun stuff, Mary. Yes, it is really going to be a very refreshing weekend. Maybe get out, do some yard work, carve some pumpkins. I think that's on my to do list. So as we head out today, maybe you're going to grab some lunch. You will still need the jacket, but there is a lot of sunshine all thanks to building high pressure. We started off this morning very chilly in the mid 30s, a little frosty under those clear skies, but now we're seeing temperatures into the mid 50s. So winds out of the south southwest at about five miles an hour. So temperatures throughout today we will get to those lower 60s just a hair below average and then by overnight tonight for Friday night football temperatures will stay steady into those low to mid 50s, but you still want to bundle up and then we are looking at occasional wind gusts that'll be picking up. So we'll have some wind gusts at about 20 miles an hour throughout this afternoon and then they'll die down a bit through overnight, but then they're going to pick right back up again tomorrow through the day with wind gusts at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. So high pressure is in place. We will have a weak trough move through tomorrow. That is just going to be a little burst of energy, which could provide a stray shower for areas north tomorrow. Just a few clouds around. So looking at temperatures right now, 55 Catanning, 57 in Irwin, 59 in Waynesburg. We've made it to 60 degrees in Blainsburg and Uniontown. Temperatures are just a tad bit cooler for areas north. So time to get out for you in future cast. There's a timestamp on the bottom of your screen through today. Looks fantastic. Clear tonight. Another chilly start tomorrow, and then we will see just a few clouds for areas north. A stray shower tomorrow into the afternoon, but very light, very brief. That chance is still very low. Most areas won't even see a drop of rain. Just want to mention that because we do have that little trough that's going to move through. By the time we get to Sunday for the Steelers game, temperatures will warm up, especially with the help of sunshine. And then Monday is the better chance for showers and temperatures are going to be well below average, which means this most likely is going to put an end to growing season and it's going to be cold enough to support a little bit of some snow mixing in. So especially that Tuesday morning low and even Wednesday temperatures are going to drop, even having some areas bottom out below freezing. So looking at tonight, temperatures into the mid 40s, partly cloudy skies, winds at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Those winds will pick up tomorrow at about 20 to even close to 30 miles an hour. Mostly sunny skies, most areas that should stay dry and will be a little bit above average. So looking at our seven day forecast, Sunday bumped up the temperature just a little bit because we'll have some sunshine and then by Monday a cold front moves through. Highs only around 50 degrees. Colder air is really going to settle in here. So lows right around freezing Tuesday, Monday night into early Tuesday. We may see some wet flakes mixing in. No accumulation expected, but still is going to feel like a shock to the system. By Wednesday, could see another wet flake or two float around out there. Mid 40s for the high lows in the mid 30s. It's going to be very cold at the bus stop. And then we'll finally get back to the mid 50s and dry out on Thursday with sunshine.